Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. This is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different again. We're not necessarily making a design, but I wanna show you some interesting things that you may not be aware of in Canva that you can use in designs. So right now I have on my page, it is a design, it says fire and ice. Um, I use this as an example because Halloween is coming and they do sell shirts that say fire on one and ice on the other and it is a popular t-shirt uh, Halloween costume that couples wear. And so I wanted to show you how you could do a design like this using really cool um, letters. These aren't necessarily fonts that you would find in, in the font section. These are actually graphics that you would find in your elements section. So if you haven't looked um, through the elements, you can search for letters and you can search for the alphabet. And there are a ton of, of different letter graphics that look really cool. And so these are just ice and fire. And I think that that looks pretty awesome. But I did also want to show you some of the other ones that I found and, and make you aware of what is on there that you can use. So starting at the top right here, I just went ahead and uh, wrote out the alphabet with different um, graphics so that you can see all the different styles. And this is not all of them, but just to give you an idea of what is available to you. So as I kind of slowly scroll down, you know, you'll see I put A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, but all with different um, graphics. And so these are individual graphics. It's not text. That means I can move them around like graphics. I can use photo effects on them like graphics. Um, I can write things out however I want. And so you can use any of these, any combination of these, any way that you like. And so there's all sorts of fun ones that you can use in, in different instances. The balloon one looks kind of cool if you were doing a kids or a party type thing. Um, there's definitely some cool like graffiti style ones. There's some like boulder if you were doing metal stuff. Um, this one's really convenient if you do do KDP and you were trying to make like kids workbooks They do have letters that are like the ones that kids would trace You could also put this on a shirt for a, a small child as well. So those are kind of cool They've got all sorts of decorative letters. They've got the really fancy ones here the more elegant ones They also have a lot of just really cool um, uh, interesting ones like they've got watermelon here pineapple here this looks like an ice cream cone so there's a lot of different styles you can do there's also a christmas uh font so you could make a christmas design using just the christmas fonts or the christmas um, graphics and write out whatever you want and that would look really cool as well i'll scroll down some more here is the r that i did with the fire again lots of different styles that you can see Really cool ones. Here's one with rope on it. Uh, this one looks like a little kid's monster design. So again, there's just so many different um, letters available to you that are just outside of the typical font that you could use to make some really cool designs. And so I'm just gonna show you really quick how I went about finding these. If I come up to the tabs on the left and I hit elements, I can open this up and then here I can put in letters i can put an alphabet i can put in any individual letter but let's just say i put in letters and i sort by graphics you're going to see a lot of different styles of letters come up and right now they look pretty random but typically if you were to click on one of them it will let's say i did that it'll bring up your magic recommendations and if i put see all now i can get everything within that kind of category and so that's a really convenient way to sort of find kind of whatever that you're looking for. So this is one way that you can search, just looking at all of the different options. Another way to search would literally just be letter by letter. So if I put in the letter A, it is gonna pull up all of my cool graphics of just the letter A. And so I can do it letter by letter this way, which is how I went ahead and found all of these. And you've got a whole ton of different again a's that you can look at here's another one of that metal one there um, you can also go ahead and if you wanted to search by kind of what you want the letter to look like so with the fire one i went ahead and i put fire letters and when i did fire letters i was able to search for different 
letters made of fire and there's different ones so you can see here's one this is the one i had originally shown you that's a different one there and so there's there's different fire letters some of them just came up letters but there was a lot of really just cool style designs i think maybe if i put flame flame letters here's another really cool set of just flame letters so if you know what you're looking for you can also search for it that way so you know just just think when you're making designs you don't always have to go through your fonts um, you can always do something like this and come up with some really cool style designs i didn't show this one here but this is another cool one and it's got the flamingos attached to each of the letters so i kind of like that one for some of the summary designs and so you can just see as you play around that you've got lots of possibilities so if you have a chance to just kind of look through it and scroll and see what's available to you it's going to help you out in the future when you go to design things when you know kind of what it is that's available and how to go ahead and find it and use it so I hope you found this video useful. I hope you can use some of this in upcoming designs. Um, if you have any questions, of course, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. And I hope to see you again next week. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.